hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is amit ola in this video i want to show you guys how to make a teapot frontal or teapot closure so if you are new here you're welcome to my channel and if this is not your first time watching my video you all welcome back so let's get started without wasting our time <music> So guys, you want to ventilate a teapot uh, frontal or closure, you have to get your paper, your scissors, your lace net, and your knitting pin or any pin that you always use to ventilate. And you will grab it, cut it like this, cut out the paper with a T-shape. So after cutting it out, then you will place the paper down and you will also use the paper to cut out the net just like that. So here is how it looks after I place it down or secure it down on a mannequin head. So guys, this is the size I'm going for. That is why it's bigger. So for you guys, you can cut your own smaller or even bigger than this as you like. So guys, tea part ventilating is not something that is hard. The way you are seeing that arrow, it serves as closure parts. Why this where the second arrow is pointing at server's frontal part? So since now you know that it's divided into two, to be more easier for you when you want to start your ventilating, start the uh, start the ventilating all the way from the back. After finish ventilating the back, you will move to your first side part, ventilate that. Then you finish your work at the second side part. Then you move all the way to the front part, which serves as our frontal. So let's start ventilating. When you are ventilating at the back, I hope you can remember the parts. I call this part a uh, closure part. So when you start the, the ventilating, you will just be ventilating horizontally. And what I'm just doing over here, I'm just putting the pin inside the net. I'm using it to hook four to three strands of air and I'm pull it out from the loop I'm giving it knots. So you'll be repeating, uh, uh, repeating that continuously till you're done with the part. Guys, I'm working with synthetic air, braiding air rather. So anyone you like to ventilate with it, you can use Zuma air or you can use uh, braiding air as well. Guys, I've done with the first side part. I ventilate that off camera. So I'm ventilating the other part right now. So this is how I'm ventilating it. So when you are ventilating, you can leave a space or you can decide to ventilate on every O on the night. So definitely guys, if you are watching this video right now and you haven't subscribed yet, you haven't liked yet, go and subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell so that anytime I upload video, you'll be notified. Share my video, like and comment in the comment section and, and let's keep ventilating. So guys right now we are finished with the other parts of the closure part so right now is to ventilate on the part that i call for you guys frontal before so this is how i'm ventilating it and guys try as much as possible when you are ventilating on this front part let all your ventilating be facing back so that each and every time you want to style the air the everything will be easily to style so each and every one of your ventilating should be facing back as you can see the first one i hope you can see the ventilation all the ventilation is facing back so that is what i'm trying to repeat on the second part and make sure 
as much as possible when you are ventilating make sure follow the line that is coming all the way from the uh, from the back that is uh, the line that you put in between the ventilating of the closure at the back make sure you follow the line all the way to the front don't jump at it make sure you leave the line so that everything will be neat and well please if you find it's not easy to ventilate you can just use a chalk to mark it or you can use a marker to mark it so that you won't ventilate on the o that it, the, uh, that is supposed to leave the line that we serve as uh, the center line i hope you can get me so here is the illustrate on how i ventilate the first side of the uh, the front part so here is it And try as much as possible when you reach the front uh, of the air maybe it remains two or three rows to reach the front make sure you reduce any type of air you are using is either you are using braiding air or woman air so as for me i'm using uh, braiding air so i'm using two strands sometimes i use a strand of air so that everything will be looking natural so for you when you are using woman air, can you just a strands yes so you know that braiding anytime you parboil it or maybe you do your hot water treatment it will be looking scanty or anyhow so that is why i'm using two or i use one so guys after the ventilation this is how it's supposed to be looking like or something that is more better than this so guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you do don't forget to subscribe to my channel like comment and share for, for your lovely ones and the most guys try to turn on your notification bell so that anytime i upload a video you will be notified try to click all in your notification bell so that you won't miss out anytime i post a video and watch out for any next content see you guys in my next video bye